local government belongs to the people. It doesn't belong to the government officials. This is the executive director of the Iowa Freedom of Information Council, Randy Evans. And he's speaking up after Centerville city officials are, as he says, keeping the public in the dark. This all stems from a series of incidents that occurred back-to-back in August at the Centerville Fire Department. On August 30th, Centerville Fire Chief Mike Bogle was placed on administrative leave. Centerville City Administrator Jason Frazier declines to tell us what led to this decision. Around the same time of Bogle's paid leave, a city report was released, not only showing low morale among fire department members, but also bringing city leaders' transparency into question. That 47-page report had 21 pages with some portion redacted, which Frazier says is to remove personal information. The citizens of Centerville are entitled to know what kind of problems uh, exist uh, within the fire and uh, rescue service. Uh, and I don't think that government ought to be cutting the, the public out of those kinds of discussions. Evan says he understands the balance needed between city government and the public, saying that he knows city leaders don't want to harm the fire chief's reputation, but he thinks city leaders should at least give a summary of what was written on the recommendations page instead of blacking it out entirely. It would be wiser for city leaders to at least share some of the the concerns that led to the action being taken. The citizens are entitled to be engaged in that kind of a discussion and not to wake up after the fact, after a decision has been made, and find out that a service that, you know, in in some instances affects their life and death, you know, a decision has been made without having an opportunity to offer their input. When asking the city administrator what the future of the fire department will look like, Frazier says the CDF will continue to provide quality fire service to our residents at no time during this review or since has our operational ability been at question. The city will work to address policy and staffing concerns brought up in the review to make our service even better. In Centerville, Tasha Turner, KTVO.